your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. We're in the middle of another Hurricane Katrina, and we don't even know it. But this Katrina isn't made up of water. It's made up of money. Cold, hard cash that's overtaking our flood levies and drowning our democracy, our society. What remains of our democracy now resembles the guy on his roof with his dog as the floodwaters get closer and closer to sweeping him away, sucking him under, and almost certainly ruining his afternoon and his only remaining lunchable. Two people, Sheldon and Miriam Adelson, have donated well over $10 million to get Newt Gingrich elected. You know Newt Gingrich, he's the facially flaccid, morally hollow bridge troll cursed with gigantism who has his empathy running on empty. Another group of billionaire ass-face killers also got together, including the Koch brothers, and they agreed they would themselves donate a hundred million dollars to defeat Obama. The president, not to be outdone recently, two days ago, decided he's getting into the super PAC super race as well. This deluge of funding is coming from a very select group of individuals who, I have no doubt, all smell like the bottom of a ball sack. But, to keep my journalistic integrity intact, I will admit I don't have a secondary source on that. To put this all into perspective, the Labour Party, one of the major parties in the UK, spent 8 million pounds on the 2010 election. That's 12.5 million dollars. And the Liberal Dems, another major party, spent 7.5 million dollars. Now I realize the UK is smaller than the US, but still, Britain's Labour Party spent less on their whole 2010 general election than Sheldon and Miriam Adelson spent on the fucking U.S. Republican primary in the months of January and February. How much did America as a whole spend on our 2010 election? Glad you asked. Four billion dollars. And it wasn't even a presidential election. It was a goddamn midterm and we spent more than the gross domestic product of Fiji. How much did Fiji spend on their last election? Thirteen parrots and a wandering, whistling duck. If money is speech, as the Supreme Court has ruled with Citizens United, then we the people are speaking through a bullhorn, while the Cokes and Adelsons are speaking through the Large Hadron Collider. Look, money has ruled our elections for a long time, but at least until two years ago, the commander and twat wannabe had to run around the country saying, give me a lot of money so I can beat that other dickhead. Nowadays, it's literally a matter of a few hundred guys getting together and funding the entire thing. And you're thinking, but I see all those news reports of them running around and kissing babies. That's just a show. Those babies are CGI. You think they can put Sigourney Weaver on Planet Avatar, but they can't put a baby in Rick Santorum's mouth? As the floodwaters carry away every last bit of America, we can put on our SpongeBob SquarePants water wings and, and say everything is fine, or we can rebuild the levees, drain the water, clean the mud out of our homes, and proudly state, I want better analogies. And I realize our national pastime is shopping, but perhaps elections are the one thing that shouldn't be bought. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Go to movetoamend.org to see how you can help end Citizens United. Also, uh, for the last video for the best comment award, I'm giving it to username Telcod. He said he supports me and Louis Black, two Jewish truthsayers, because Christians ain't doing so well in that department. Great comment. I don't know about Louis, but I'm an atheist, which kind of makes the truth easier to find. Thanks for the comments. Check out the Moment of Clarity book. It just came out. The Moment of Clarity book. Go to LeeCamp.net to find it. It's already number 24 on, uh, on, on the Kindle for uh, political humor. So check it out. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.